Jeopardy. <laughs> All right, you have command of the board right now. You select, please. For number one hits of the 70s for 800. Rick Dees and his cast of idiots had a number one hit in 1976 with this foul song. Melissa? What is Disco Duck? And Rick Dees! <laughs> Rick Dees and the cast of idiots! Before I do that, let's go to Hollywood and give a shout out to the man who rules the cool, Mr. Rick Dees. Oh, Hi, Rick. my man, my man, Rick He is in rare form today. With one of the most recognizable voices on the planet, Rick Dees loves to make people laugh. His astonishing career began at Grimsley High School in Greensboro, North Carolina. I was determined to get my radio license. And after passing a test, the 17-year-old nailed down an early morning Sunday job at local WGBG AM. As a finalist for the prestigious Moorhead Scholarship, Rick entered the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, where, as a freshman, he met fellow radio fanatic Ken Lowe. Ken went on to create the Home and Garden Television Network, HGTV. Back in college, living with Rick Dees was like living with Robin Williams. Uh, he was always honing these characters, and I never knew when I came home and opened the door which character might be there. I mean, it was so much fun. It also gave me an opportunity to uh, get extra dates because girls would love to come home and see him perform. I mean, he was a uh, he was a one man act. He was hired by Pat Patterson and Southern Broadcasting to host the 9 p.m. to midnight shift weeknights at WKIX in Raleigh. Channel 85. 300. I could have gotten Rick D's for that. It was in Memphis where Rick D's became Rick D's with. No budget for promotion, Dees created his own. He produced a traveling disco show, performing six nights a week, taking a hundred dollar fee and a dollar for every customer who mentioned Rick Dees is an idiot at the door. After his world's first wet t-shirt contest, a thousand customers a night were saying Rick Dees is an idiot. A favorite feature on Rick Dees in the morning was the novelty songs that this budding songwriter himself composed. The songs caught the attention of Estelle Axton, co-founder of the legendary Stax Records in Memphis, who hired Rick to record several comedy records. The third recording had everyone laughing and dancing. Disco Duck. Ms. Axton sensed the potential of this parody of the disco craze that was laced with a thumping dance beat, a rapping and singing Rick Dees, and a hilarious duck voice. She sold the master tape of Disco Duck to Robert Stigwood and Al Khoury of RSO Records for $3,500. Perhaps the best investment RSO ever made. Disco Duck sold six million copies. Rick Dees and his cast of idiots had a number one hit everywhere, except Memphis. Dees mentioned his hit song on the air, but did not play it. And the same radio station where he had created the world's largest ice cream sundae and the world's largest jelly donut fired him. Crosstown rival WHBQ quickly snatched him up. While ramping up their promotion that Dees was coming to WHBQ mornings, Rick took advantage of the time to race out to Hollywood for appearances on American Bandstand and Soul Train. On a comedy show called Wacko, he met comedian Julie McWhorter, who performed comedy and impressions. And I just want to say that I am a virgin, and so is my mother and grandmother. Our voices were attracted, laughed Julie. Then, in April of 1979, Rick received the call all performing artists dream about. It was Hollywood on the line. Dees was offered mornings at the legendary 93 KHJ Los Angeles. KHJ was an AM station, and the world was discovering FM radio. Dees knew it was time for a change. KHJ switched to country music, and Dees switched to FM. K-I-I-S FM. Before you could say Wango Tango, Rick D's in the morning were the talented support staff vaulted 102.7 KISS FM to being the most popular radio station in America. Rick D's was now the voice of Los Angeles. 
This is Rick Dees, and if you do want a song played, just get Dees it. quickly saw an opportunity, and in 1983, launched what would become the longest-running continuous music countdown program in the world, the Rick Dees Weekly Top 40. This hot radio brand grew to be carried on more than 500 stations in the United States, 125 countries worldwide, and 27 military ships at sea, reaching 70 million listeners each week. The first music countdown show to air in China, the Rick D's Weekly Top 40 also was the first to stream online at rick.com. Today, it is nationally distributed and marketed by Dial Global X Radio. Rick D's career as a songwriter grew as well, resulting in a series of comedy album releases. He wrote two hits for the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack, plus the title song to the Bill Murray, Ivan Reitman hit movie, Meatballs. In 1984, Michael Eisner, Barry Diller, and Paramount Pictures came knocking, signing Dees to host the hit show Solid Gold. This led to acting roles in films and television, and one of his favorites, Roseanne. No, we're thinking of using them as the average family. Well, aren't they a bit too swap meat for the Rod Bells? He was cast as Rocket Rick in The Jetsons, worked his way into The Simpsons. I'm a spalling gray in a Rick D's world. Change me back to the blissful boob I was. And one of his most notable performances was as Ted Quinlan in the cult classic film La Bamba. How are you? Good, good, good. Valens, Valens, um, French. French, right? How did you know? Essay, essay! Come on, man. It's one of those barrio kids from the valley. Not so long. Pretty good, good. In 1985, Hollywood recognized Rick's achievement in radio by awarding him his own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Other accolades followed. Rick was named Billboard magazine's number one top 40 radio personality in America, an honor he continued to receive for 15 consecutive years. He's received a People's Choice Award, Marconi Award, Grammy nomination, a Grammy Governor's Award, and countless others, including being inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame in 1999. In 1991, Rick made his way into late-night television when ABC and Dee's Entertainment launched Into the Night, starring Rick Dee's. Celebrities and audiences quickly found the show. You see, you're so wonderful, man. I, wanna, oh. I want your audience to know this. You are so wonderful that it, and honest, and you, you really remind me of, 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 of Mr. Carson. Johnny's a different, a different way. Don't, don't, you know, it's a different thing. Right. But John, Johnny is an honest man. And, and it's easy to get along with an honest person. It's also easy to get along with a person who's not like this all the time. I don't want you to, it has nothing to do with a lack of intelligence because you're a very, <laughs> very... And now, there's a fresh new chapter. The all new Movin' 93.9 FM. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? <laughs> With me, Rick D's in the morning. Oh. The all new Movin' 93.9 FM. The mix that makes you move. Dees has partnered with Doyle Rose, Jeff Simulian, Rick Cummings, Jimmy Steele, and Val Mackey of MS Communications to launch an entirely new brand of radio, Movin' 93.9. As a primary owner in Burn Lounge, Rick has helped catapult this digital entertainment distributor from 12 online retailers to over 75,000 in one year. Burn Lounge could, could be as big as MySpace was, actually even, even bigger. Rick is co-founder of the EW Scripps network, Fine Living, now seen in almost 50 million homes. Hey, Chris from NSYNC. I am standing here with Christina Aguilera. I'm standing here with Ice Cube. Rick's son, Kevin, was the first IJ on the internet and is head of creative development for D's Entertainment. Thanks to Rick.com and the weekly Top 40 countdown, Rick can be heard somewhere in the world at any given moment. In a business in which format changes and shorter attention spans prevail, Rick possesses a unique ability so many wish they had. Staying power. 
Honoring his lifetime achievement in broadcasting, the National Association of Broadcasters is proud to induct Rick Dees into the NAB Broadcasting Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Rick Dees. We got Rick Dees back. Rick